Good morning everybody and welcome back to Random Things. I'm James and guess what I found last night guys. Finally, finally, finally. My store finally fucking got these Series 3 Dino Strike Dino Strike Hunt. I actually bought three. I'll do a quick video. I'm going to open this one real quick so you guys can see it. Look at the checklist and then go over the other two I got. And just quick impressions. So let's get started. Like this, just in the box cutter. Now, with this one, there's tin to collect. Come on. Go. So far, I will say the other two that I have opened already. Super, super impressed. A little bit more impressed than I thought it would be. Completely honest with you, which I'll get to after I get this boy open. We. We go. Still double wrapped. This is all I like. It was different than these. This other one had five segments. This one has three and then one big one. But still kind of open it up. Now, we will last. So let's see what we got here. Like some kind of tail. A bear trap. Got a pair of legs. Another pair of legs. That's the big part. Got ourselves a body and two neck segments. So that's pretty cool. Let's go and assemble this real quick. Leg. They still pop just for here, you know. This still just pop on. Look, like it's got look, head bobbing action. Now for front legs there. Legs. The old tail. There we go, pop right on. First, just on the neck, and now the head. Oh, that's cool, it can actually rotate. We got ourselves the Bronto. Let's see if I can get it to right pose the stand. And The pair track is weird. That was most definitely weird. It's backwards. Is that fixed? Yeah, there we go. Oh, not boating well. And got ourselves a bear trap for a Bronto. Imagine how big the bear trap has got to be. Okay, that is awesome. Guys, we got a Bronto now that is new, that wasn't in the first two series. It's cool, head bopping action here. The old purple and orange, very vibrant. Now, for the other two, I got I got the Dilophosaurus. Some biting action. These don't think you're supposed to, but you can. Here, without the frills. And this series got a new Stego. Um, yeah, uh, that was kind of weird. And the Stego was in the first two series, but but like compared, yeah, yeah, different mold, way bigger, 
different pose, so it is not too bad. I've only gotten three so far, which I'm lucky getting it doubles. Um, notice with these though, there is no armor. The theme for this is more hunting and trapping dinosaurs, so that's why this one came with a muzzle. The the Dillo came with a muzzle and you know bear trap. I think there's a ball and chain for another one and shackles and stuff. So yeah, the theme for this one is more hunting dinosaurs than it is you know, dinosaurs battling each other, which is yeah, I guess okay. I'm gonna go through this in a second. Now, if you guys notice what big complaint I had about the first two series was sort of the lackluster sort of paint job, you know. You know, they left certain things painted, certain things unpainted. I think they fixed out a lot of this here. Um, if you can see here, but look, all the toenails are actually painted. The underbelly goes all the way from the neck actually down to the tip of the tail to where the first series may have just been the belly and then the neck and you know the tails weren't painted the actual spikes on this look are actually a different color the um the spikes on the back on this segment are actually two different colors the only thing in the event is this right here which is actually three different pieces came together so i'd assume that was just for you know mold the whole thing in one color it's, it's easy peasy you know, the eyes have pupils and you know the irises are different colors plus the beak and that's pretty pretty cool now, something cool about this too that really hard to see i don't know if you can sell here but these wounds are not painted these are actually in the mold that's pretty cool i think some of them might be painted or just a little recessed but like this one here you can i can definitely feel it it, it is that's that is molded so that's pretty freaking cool you know i'm very very impressed I think that's freak a lot better. Um, now you can't see it because you're watching it at home, but the plastic here, not as rubber, a little bit rubbery, but it's so much heavier. It feels like a, just a much better, better built toy. Very much built better. But even on this one, seeing like the scar right here. I mean, there are some still some parts like this for some reason, like the ridge here isn't painted. The crest are, the back and tail are, but right here isn't. So. They're still not, you know, perfect, but I mean, they're pretty awesome. Here in the mouth, the teeth are actually a different color than the jaw. The tongue is a different color. You know, you see the eyes are yellow with like red, eye, red with iris or pupils. That's that's freaking cool. That's very much better. Uh, mouth here isn't so. This doesn't seem to be consistent. So, I mean, much better quality, but still not. You know, super perfect. And it's six bucks each. Eh, I'll collect them. I have some stuff I want to do with them. I'm excited to collect them. Um, I didn't get any rares. These are probably common. I'm happy I didn't get three freaking doubles, you know. So, anywho, that's the three I got. That's my first impressions of them. You know, I will do probably, hopefully, see if I can't collect most of them. Maybe do another update video. Probably one that hopefully won't be as long as the last one. So, that has been my impressions of them. I'm excited, finally happy to get them. Um, let me see if they stay in my store, see if I can't collect them slowly. Um, yeah, but that's it, guys. Um, thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll catch you guys later.